Jair, thank you so much for uh, meeting with us today. I was wondering if we could talk a little bit about what it was like growing up in Curacao. And people think of an island paradise, but if you live there all the time, maybe it's not quite that, that way. But um, Curacao, like, uh, it's a place I always go to in the off season to relax, see my family and stuff. And like, people ask me where I go for vacation, and I say I don't need to go nowhere because I come from an island, and I think in my mind, we have the best best island in the whole world. And then back home is really, uh, it's a nice area to go if you like beaches and real culture stuff and uh, colors and all this stuff. And if you wanna just relax and have fun. Could you talk a little bit about baseball in Curacao? And how, um, how baseball right now back home is fighting with soccer to be the number one sport. And especially what the kids are doing in the Little League World Series, I think um, baseball is growing up, and especially how Andrew Jones and me and all the professional baseball players are doing the big leagues. And I think they're inspiring the kids to work hard at baseball and having fun with it. How old were you when you started playing baseball? I was five when the first time I really officially got my first uniform, but I was playing since I was younger than that. How did, how did you get interested in baseball originally? Was it uh, my whole family, my cousin, my dad, and my big brother played. And I grew up watching my big brother play. And then I started playing myself till I turned like 15, 16. Then I really started loving this sport and I wanted to make this my career. Did you, were you able to get the Braves on TV or radio? And Yeah, that's the only thing, uh, especially at night when we used to get TBS. It used to be on TBS every day. That's the only thing we used to watch. When, um, comes at seven o'clock and um, then I grew up watching the Braves and began to uh, be a fan of the Braves too. What about Andrew Jones? Was he a particular role model for you or? Um, not only him, you know, he's one of the part, bigger part of the whole my dream, but from the guys who come before him, maybe they didn't make the name he made being an all-star of that, but we need to give props to the other guys who came before him, give us a chance to be, be where I am right now. So there was a long tradition from Curacao of sending players to the Major League Baseball? Yeah, um, we didn't have a lot of luck, especially baseball players from back home got luck to be in the big leagues. There's a couple of ones that got there, but didn't stay for a long time like Andrew did. For, and um, I'm trying to change that and I'm trying to change helping the young kids come after me too. Do they, um, they traditionally do real well in the Little League World Series, is that correct? Yeah, um, we have one of the best Little League program, I think, in the whole world. You know, we've been going for nine years back to back now, and every time we come in the World Series, we get a really good job and always advance to um, to the international pool, semifinal and final. And then, I think just uh, when we grow up and get to beyond that Little League program, that's when we need to begin fixing little things up back home. Uh, did you ever imagine when you were a kid that you would actually be playing for the Atlanta Braves, or? Um, that was a dream. That was a dream. But when I got a chance with Detroit Tigers, I never had that had that dream coming back and accomplish my dream being playing for the team my my dad loves and um, playing here. And I know my dad loved this team. Now he has his son on this team. It's just uh, a dream come true. Do your parents get a, much to see you play? Yeah, nah, they watch all my games. Um, they come twice a year during the season to watch and to see me and spend some time with me. And um, it's always like we talk about every game, you know, and my dad is always like a big fan and definitely watching every every game. Can you still get um, the Braves on TV down in the uh, Yeah, um, my dad got the major league, uh, major league package and then he got every game and um, some games on TBS and Peach Street and Fox. And they get uh, TV is really popular back home. And so do you normally spend part of the off season in Curacao? Yeah, um, after the season I go to, um, to Tampa to relax and uh, work out, then I go home. If I go home at, right after the season, you know, there's a lot of things I need to do for the kids and stuff, then I don't get a, really a chance to relax like I want to. And, uh, but uh, it's a part of me I never can forget where I come from. I like going home, I have fun, and. Um, you know, that's my that's my country. What is it like when you first get back home after you've been had a, a long hard season? It's, it's it's just being surrounded with your family, you know, with people you know, and you know, just being around things you know, like you know where to go and 
have fun and go to the beach is the most important thing. The beaches back home is really, really beautiful. And then every time I go, I need to at least go once. Do you, are you able to find good food here in Atlanta compared, that compares to Carousel? Um, Atlanta is not really like a, a Latin type of, back home we eat like, like the Dominican and Spanish people. And um, here is a little bit different, more fried chicken and stuff like that. But uh, I try to mix it up and uh, go to some Latino places and American places. So is there any one food back home that you like that you can't get here? Ah, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Um, really not because this is where you go to the Latino uh, restaurant, they got all those stuff. Then I really don't miss them so much, especially when we go to New York or Miami, I can get those food. Did you, um, did you grow up learning English um, in school? Because you speak it very well. And I, um, in, I learned it in school. And usually uh, I learn it by asking questions to my dad, watching TV. And, um, and when I came here, I just practiced it with a teammate and then begin to get more comfortable with it. And that's how I learned. Does it make it easier as a professional athlete if you do? if you can speak the language well? Definitely, definitely, because you can interact with your teammates, with the coaches, with the media, and the baseball here and back home are different. You know, it's a different culture. You know, you can say back home is more, show, we show off a little bit more and then here more even keel, then if you cannot understand how they do it here, then you're gonna, they're gonna bump head with each other, and that's why, I recommend everybody today, if you want to be a baseball player, you need to learn English. Because you have a lot of players now, you have players from Japan, you have players from no, Cuba. Definitely, definitely, yeah. So really you becoming... need to be able to communicate somehow with your, um, with your teammates. Right. Yeah. What are your, do you have any plans for after your career is over in terms of going back to Curacao? Or? Um, definitely, uh, like, I will always want to go back to Curacao, but it all depends um, why I'm going to do it. Why right now, I'm not thinking about that. Uh, I know I have my family there, and like I'll, I'm definitely going every year. I at least spend a couple of months down there. But it's all um, like that's where my life is right now. You know, that's what I can. Here's the place I can help my family back home. Then right now I'm just concentrating on uh, being here, and like when the season is over, then I concentrate on going back home. Would you, for people who live in Atlanta, would consider going to Carousel for vacation? What would you say to them in terms of what they could expect? Like they're gonna find a nice weather. It's always nice. The sun is always out, and there's always a nice breeze. You can go to the beaches, and if you like colors, this way you go downtown. You see all this building with different colors, and um, it's really a nice place to go and relax with your family.